Hi, beloved in the Lord. My name is a Melody. This is Heavenly Host Vision with Lady. I'm so glad to welcome you to yet another prophetic word. May the Almighty God bless you and keep you safe, sound, and protected. The Lord said that this relationship, that's your relationship. The relationship lasted this long because you are the mature one. Thank you, our Father, for your strengths. Thank you, O God, for the spirit of understanding. The spirit of patience and love, we give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Continue to abide with your people and grant them the grace to be able to sustain what is theirs in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. The Lord said that your relationship lasted this long. The relationship went through the test of time, took the test of time because you are the mature one. You are the mature one. You saw this relationship for what it is. You believed in the relationship. You fought for the relationship. You wanted it to work. I'm talking, talking to, those, to those of you whose relationship really, really succeeded and stood the test. The, 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 whose relationship really stood the test of time and succeeded. It is because you are the mature one. And the Lord said, please continue to be the mature one. Hallelujah. Some of you, God had to give you that relationship that was so, so problematic because you needed to, to grow. You needed to match. You needed to, to believe in what God can do. Some of you have been in your marriage for 20, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 5 years, 10 years. And it's not an easy thing. Despite all the ups and downs, you've been there. And the Lord said you relationship could not break up. Not that you could not that not that you were not having issues, but you were so mature in not to handle situations in that relationship. And that is why it lasted that long. Yes. The Lord said, please continue to be the mature one. Do not give up. Don't get tired. Hallelujah. Do not get tired. Love is patience. Love is kind. According to um Second Corinthians. 2 Corinthians 13 verse 4, love is patient, love is kind, and is not jealous, love does not brag, and is not arrogant, does not act uncommonly, it does not seek its own, it's not provoked, does not take into account a wrong suffering, does not rejoice in unrighteousness, but rejoices with the truth. Hallelujah. Love bears all things, believes all things, hope all things, endures all things. Love never fails, but if there are gifts of prophecy, they will be done away. If there are tongues, they will cease. If there is knowledge, it will be done away. Hallelujah. Love bears all things. It stands the test of time. It does. It's not jealous. It doesn't seek itself. It's not being selfish. Love is not easily being given up. But where there are other things, such as you know, um, prophecy, gifts, whatever it is, kindness, whatever those charity, they will all fail. Without love, nothing stands. Without love, there is no peace. But you made sure with all your strengths. That it was going to work. And it worked. Your faith sustains that relationship. And it shall continue to be so. I pray over your relationship that nothing shall put it asunder. Yes, it lasted this long because it was what God put together. And therefore, what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, you are the mature one in the relationship. And so what? Keep in the mature one. Sustain it. Because God has given you the strength to sustain it. Congratulations. May the Lord be with you always and always. Hallelujah. Enjoy your union. Let nothing distract you. Let nothing separate you. Let nothing take away your focus from it. Yes, it is your pride. It is what you believe in. Yes, some of you have had children. Yes, listen. The Lord said, please, hold on your relationship. He's blessing. God is blessing someone's relationship right now. And if you're still seeking, God is bringing to you this moment. It's, it's, it's another time when 
you some of you are about to meet your kingdom spouses in Jesus mighty name and when you meet your kingdom spouse no matter what comes to separate both of you you can't just separate even if you are the verge of giving up, God's always going to renew your strength to continue to maintain a relationship without a relationship free of abuse, a relationship free of of um, whatever it is that is not of God. Don't be to God, free from stagnation, free from challenges, free from setbacks. God is wise and is faithful. I love you so much, but Christ loves you even more. Faith is our vehicle and love is our strength. See you in the next video.